Hey folks, Quill18 here. I just wanted to do a very short video about AI War, uh, which is an awesome space simulation game by an indie a game company called Arkin Games. They're the same company that is making the Valley Without Wind game, a very, very interesting and a uh, little bit like odd, hard to define game. AI War is a little bit easier to define in that it's a space simulation strategy sort of 4X game. Um, it is a real-time game, but because of the way a variety of the mechanics work and the ability to pause and slow time and all sorts of things, um, if you prefer turn-based games, you'll you'll like AI War just fine. Although at the same time, you can speed things up if you like something a little bit more action-packed. So it is on sale today, 75% uh, off. Really, really cheap. Definitely worth checking out. I'm going to load up the game just to try to give you an idea of how it works. Because the problem is... Most of these, uh, this is just the game setup screen where you can generate different maps and set up the all kinds of game rules so you can have a completely different experience every time. How many players? It is multiplayer. Um, it is, unless I'm mistaken, and I may be mistaken, I believe it's mostly meant to be co-op versus AI. After all, it is called AI War. And the thing is, with a lot of these games, well, with actually every game where there are sort of opponents, you know, so anything except the puzzle game, there's always the question of how do you balance things between the player, like a human player, and an AI player? And what do I mean by that? Well, the AI, you generally want to build something that's challenging, but that doesn't auto-win for sure, right? So imagine a first-person shooter where the AI would automatically and always aim at you perfectly 100% of the time and kill you. Well, that would be a good AI in one sense of the word, but in terms of producing an AI that makes a game that's fun, it would be very poor. Then you have a game like Civilization, and it's the same sort of thing. You, especially at the lower difficulties, you want an AI that makes mistakes, but generally speaking, you want an AI that feels human. And, and how do you make a computer-driven thing that feels human? And how do you balance it? Uh, most of these sorts of strategy games, at the higher difficulty levels, they tend to ha make the AI um, teams have to cheat a little bit, get some bonus resources, something like that, because the AI can't keep pace. Not if you start on even footing. Um, AI War sort of flips that on its head in that it says right from the beginning, A, the AI players don't act like humans. And B, there is no symmetry whatsoever in the starting conditions. Let me read you the, uh, the text here. Let me just tab over. Let me read you the text from Steam for this game. You are outgunned. You are massively outnumbered. You must win. These are your orders. Humanity has already fought its war against the machines and lost. You, and let me start a game to show you. You start the game in one solar system. You've actually already got a bunch of crap already built for you. They take some of that early game tedium away. They get a good basis of resources put in. Um, a lot of things can be automated if you want. It's, it's, the management is more of a macro management thing than a micro management thing. Uh, lots of automation, lots of queuing, lots of all this stuff, so you don't have to worry about that. Again, these are all things that help you, even though it's real time. If, you're, if you like to take things slower and easier, if you're more turn-based guy, you'll feel very comfortable about it in, in this sort of thing. So this is my starting system, which I can zoom in and out quite a bit. Uh, let me zoom in on some of the ships just to show you what the graphics do. Like The, the ships are pretty nicely modeled, actually. Um, although, frankly, you'll probably spend most of your time zoomed out quite a bit and just looking at the symbols. Now, if I hit Tab and go to the Galaxy View, so here's my system. This is my only system right now. And there's plenty of empty space, and people are used to that, right? Oh, plenty of other systems, so I'm going to want to expand and take some others and, and you know, get, get a good economic foothold. Sure, except that these are not empty systems. Every single solar system, every single star system in the entire galaxy is swarming with AI death machines and ships and just huge armies. You have nothing. The only thing you have in your favor is the fact that the AI is not paying attention to you. The AI is concerning with itself with different things or whatever, and it doesn't con consider you a threat at this point. You've been reduced to the level of insects, of insignificance, and it's ignoring you. But as you start killing stuff, this is an AI progress meter over here, as you start doing things, as you start expanding, as you start poking your nose out of your system, as you start killing things especially, the AI progress will increase and you will start to face 
opposition. You will start to face attacks and raids against your star, your home. Apparently, some scouts have actually just come into my star system, which is interesting. I wasn't actually expecting that. Let me uh, just build some turrets here real quickly. Yeah, see, he's shooting. I've, oops, I do have a, uh, a force field around my uh, my units here, so it's just absorbing these shots. Um, actually, what makes a lot more sense is if I just build some ships. What am I doing wrong here? It's been a while since I've actually played, and I've always I've meant to make a video of this game forever and ever and ever. <clears throat> Are they starting on attack mode? No, I did it wrong. Is it F? What am I doing wrong? Oh god, you, you ships. I don't remember how to tell them to attack. That's pretty poor. There we go. I can just right click on an opponent. There's a, there's a key you can hit that makes them uh, just go on auto patrol in the system and avoids these problems. What else we got? Over here. So you just tell them to get in the right area and they'll, they'll engage. There's, there's a way to automate almost all of this and I'm not actually used to being attacked this early. Not that this is a pretty credible threat in any way whatsoever. So, um, yeah. Anyway. The AI mostly leaves you alone. This is just like a random freaky patrol squad or something that just happened to come here and give me a hard time. There we go. Okay. Um, and actually, just to make sure that I don't get bothered anymore, I'm going to tell them to build some turrets around all the wormholes. Oh my god, there's more of them? What's going on? Take that guy out, and we've got more wormholes over here. All right, so those will get built up. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, so at some point you're going to want to leave your system, right? So what you're going to have to do at that point is you're going to want to start by scouting, and of course I'm going to have a pain in the ass because let's cancel all these. And let's just queue up scout ships. Um, yeah. Infinity Scout Drones. Alright, let's grab these guys. Um, just the Scout Drones, move them over here for easy selection. I'm going to grab them in pairs because they shield each other, so they have a better chance getting things done if you send them out two at a time. I mean, you can just send out a whole bunch at a time just to get that sort of strength in numbers, so hopefully someone will survive, but I'm going to try to spread these out a little bit. Not all of them will reach their destination. Alright, so now that I've sent out the scouts, now I'm getting scouting information on the systems. Then I can mouse over these and get info about their resources. For example, right at the very bottom, you can see this planet has one metal resource and four crystal resource. Four is actually quite a bit. Uh, the fact that it only has one metal, so it has five resources overall. It's not fantastic, but maybe. It's a possible target. Uh, I can also see how many ships, how many enemy ships are there, and other static defenses that they might have. Um, what do we have over here? Four metal, three crystal. This is a very, very high priority for its resources. I'm actually going to uh, drop a marker on there. That's going to be a priority nine system, so I can just keep an eye on that, uh, because I'm definitely going to want to take this over for the resources. Over here, f wow! Okay, this is actually a really rich start. Um, that's pretty good. And what do we have over here? We So crystal resource-wise, they only have one and three, so that's not very good crystal watt but they do have an AI coprocessor. So now, it's worth talking about over here, the AI pro progress. This is the thing that determines how angry the AI is at you, how much they've noticed you, how much they consider you to be a threat. 10 is very low, um, and it basically won't do much. But as I engage, this is going to go up, especially as I start to destroy things. And I believe the AI coprocessors are actually a really interesting um, example of that. So there's the AI com orbital command. Destroying that sort of clears them out of the system, but generates a lot of anger. Um, I'm pretty sure AI thing. No, no. AI coprocessor. Okay, yeah. So there are, when you destroy these, it generates a lot of AI progress. It gets them very mad. Um, so you generally want to avoid them, except if you manage to kill all of them, um, 
there are apparently four of them scattered throughout the galaxy. If you destroy all four, then it m dramatically decreases the AI, AI progress simply by destroying some of its processing uh, capacity. So there's a lot of balance in your expansion. You don't want to, you can't claim every system. Because if you just tried to systematically claim every single system, the AI would become so overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly aggressive at you that you would inevitably lose. Um, you can't do it. You can't, and that's the theme of the game. You can't defeat the AI in a straight up battle. You have to be extremely smart about what you're doing and how you're expanding and eventually find the AI central command, central processing unit, I'm not sure what it's called. Destroy that and you win. And it is co-op, so if you, uh, if you want to play with friends, you can group up together versus the computer. Uh, you can have galaxies that are so big that it'll literally take you a week non-stop without sleeping to finish or you could build a galaxy where you'll finish a game in two or three hours. Um, there's a really lot of flexibility in it. And anyway, if you like this sort of thing, check it out. It's on sale on Steam. It's called AI War. Hope you enjoy it. See you next time, folks.